Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about why the reason I halt, halted my eBay dropshipping side of things and I'm going to explain and, and tell you a bit about why I halted it. You should know that I've given up on it, uh, just I may come back to it later on. So the reason is this. Look. As you may be aware, I've got so many things going on at the same time and I'm finding it very difficult to co concentrate on um, other things rather than... So I have one main eBay account and I, I I started to learn about dropshipping and update. Okay, this, is, this was the second month, so second month I decided to hold on, you know, cancel the subscription and hold to it. And I explained the reason is because I... I don't have much time to spend on dropshipping. I know you can make money out of it. I know a lot of people are making money. But the fact I got too many stuff uh, going at the same time. And the time is, there's a certain amount of time in the days or nights to do these things. You know, you can't carry on. Like uh, I try for a living, that's one thing. And I have one eBay store. I have three YouTube channel. I have um, I do stuff on print on demand, a lot of other things, you know, so I'm finding it difficult to concentrate in all this. So, you know, as I said always, I tell people, look, if something is working, concentrate on that side of things rather than trying to do everything at the same time. So it's, and I come to a conclusion, yeah, I, I could grow another uh, another dropshipping business on site, but it's going to be such a hard for me, and I may lose money. So I decided to to hold, but just because I decided to hold, that doesn't mean I'm going to stop learning. I will learn about this trade and come back to it later on. So this is what I've managed to sell last month. Okay, I sold two hundred and thirty six pound worth of dropshipping items. Okay. So it's not something that is, it wasn't working, it was working for me. But because time is so difficult on my side, so I had to decide to hold on to it. See, it does work. So, you know, I have sold stuff, but I will still give you information. I will still look for the new items and I tell you in these videos. Although I am not going to sell it myself, but I will actually tell you guys and girls out there what sort of thing to go for. I will do your research and put them on a video and I hope you start, still watch these videos so you can get some information out of it. The reason I'm moving on because I want to do other stuff and I don't have the basically time to do that kind of thing. I mean, if I were to do this, I'll show you, if I go to my main account, look, let's jump into my, this is the main account, okay, buy, sell, second hand, as you know, right? I can easily list things drop chicken item on this account and I will sell it like hotcakes because look I'm a top rated seller and been selling for 14 years so people trust me more on this account right I can easily sell it amongst the the items I'm selling so if I go back look let's say let's go back to my let's show you a bit here like look okay so how many items have I got for so 77 items okay right now, as you can see, these items are at the moment in my shop, okay? I can easily put dropshipping item within this store and people will buy it. Simple as that. They would never ever think twice for buying it they, because they trust me and they will buy it. But I don't have the, the time and the, the energy to do all this at the same time. So that's why I'm stopping the dropshipping. But, so... Dropshipping does work, it does take time, and you can make money out of it, but it's, it's like anything in life, any sort of business in life, you have to put in the time. You know, there is no monetary out there, or there's no, they're not going to, it just doesn't come easily, it takes um, courage, engagement, there's so many headaches on the way, you know, frustration. Even though I'm running this thing for a few years, I still get frustrated uh, when the sales are down. You know, when I'm not selling this stuff, 
you know, he, he often say, oh, have I overpriced it, underpriced it, and that kind of thing goes on through your head, you know. But I'm okay. I don't worry so much now. But you got to come away from the thought of making a, you know, some people want to open up a store and they just want to, uh, make it quickly. Like give a quick example. Like I just started doing print on demand. Okay, I watch a lot of stuff, and I can see I got a few good ideas on print on demand side. So I'm checking up at the moment Zazzle, and I'm check. I'm doing Teespring. I could be. I probably do spreadsheet as well. I'll put a link to this. You can check it out. All the other videos I have. Right. So. You know, life is always up and down. You know, you're not going to be successful in one thing. You may be successful in another thing. But you should never ever stop trying. He's always going to try. You know, carry on with it. And on the way, you always come up hurdles where you 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 are you are going to get frustrated. You are going you are going to have headaches. But don't give up. But here I, I I can afford to give up because I have other streams, so it's not only this, I, you know, I mean, if you stay, look, let me show you this, uh, this uh, drop side side of things, right? So what I've done now is basically shut the, the second account down, right, just the drop tripping one. And the reason is I thought, you know, I'm, I could sell, you know. But don't have the time and why on earth do I want to pressurize myself while I'm doing well? So this this site I probably turn it into a an auction site. That's what I'm thinking. All this stuff I, I cannot sell it uh, on my main main account, I'll put it on just the auction site on this one. So this this will I'll turn it into an auction site and put one or two stuff um for drop shipping, you know, the ones items that are readily available, couple of items and that's it, yeah. So that is my plan for this. And the future plan for this is to do that. So when you're starting out, frustration after frustration will come across. But you don't give up. Because if you give up, you never make it. And Sometimes we have to learn in business. Cut your loss. Try to learn quickly if it's working for you. If it's this idea or business not working, do not waste time. Because it's valuable time. You may think, oh, it's going to work, it's going to work. But it may not work. So don't put money into a deep... Um, bottomless basket, for example. Don't pump money into it. Don't make money for Google, trying to, you know, or eBay. Don't give them the money. Don't waste your money trying to build something that is not going to work. You, you know, you have to sometime, instantly, it doesn't take a PhD scientist to work out where something's working or something not working, right? Um, so you got to get there quickly. Let me show you a, 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 a real account here. Look. Now, this is my dropship account for this month invoice, okay? This is nothing to do with my uh, the, the main account on eBay. This is the dropship account I'm showing you. Right, I'm holding them. This is month of uh, invoice for less of a lot. This is yeah, so when I started dropshipping, my first invoice was £20. The next one, when I started opening the shop, is £32.83. August 2018. September 2018, it was £37.15. Now, October, it jumped to £66.97. Can you see the jump? It sort of double it, doubling, right? Invoice-wise. Okay, but the question I ask myself, have I made enough profit on dropshipping to justify paying eBay second account £66 and something fees for that month. 
So the question I ask myself so many times, is it worth for me to pursue this dropshipping and pay stupid amount of money for no reason or rhyme to um, eBay? For what? What reason? I may not sell an item. And the profit margin on the drop side of things is so stupid. Sometimes you're making one pound, two pound, three pound, that kind of. I know it all adds up. But how on earth can you justify that kind of fees? It's putting some items on and you may not sell it. You have to wait months after months after months after sales. Unless you have, unless ladies and gentlemen, you can have a drop shipping account with 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 30,000 listings. That will cost you, uh, I haven't looked at it, but you have to have an unlimited eBay shop which cost you about 250 to 300 pounds, I think roughly. And then you have to employ um, virtual assistants in Philippines where they will look after your accounts and things like that, pay them money to list and do all this kind of stuff. There's tons of video out there. And then you might have a, a, vi a viable business. Um, but as a small, a small, very, very tiny somebody starting out, it is not worth it. Unless you have uh, um, a great, uh, you know, you have extra amount of money on the bank or you have a fund available, you want to start off something. It's good luck to you, but this is not worth to pursue. So, you see, so what you're going to do is make money. And I'm I'm sure I know a lot of big, big sellers on dropshipping on eBay are struggling because the amount of money they've invested or it's not, the return is not there. This, look, so what I'm saying, because look, you sell something for 60, 70, 80 quid, 100 quid on drop side, right? And the... The purpose is used to you to make money, right? How are you going to make money? Uh, at the end of the month, you see your sales are like 800, 900,000, 2,000, 3,000 pounds, right? And then the profit margin is not there. And then the VAT man wants a piece of his action. The tax man wants it because they're not interested in how much profit you make and how much money you make. They're interested on the sales. You are selling amount. It, you try to tell the VAT man or tax man, look, <laughs> uh, I've sold this amount, that was a profit. They're not going to have that. People look at your turnover and you're turning over X amount. I know you're going to have to employ um, accountant because if you go over the threshold of 80,000 pound, I think 86 or 80, I'm not sure, 86,000 pound a year, you have to be registered with that one, okay? That registered. So is it worth it uh, to build up a big business and then you end up with nothing. So your profit margin or you're making, say, pound 50 on an item, it drops to 50p an item because all the other law, you have to think about that man, tax man, everybody else before you make your profit. So think about all this, right? So as I said, it wasn't worth it for me. So in the second month I realized, I stopped. And the reason being, I'll show you an example here. Look, I'm going to back to my main account, all right? So Let's go and see a couple of sold items, right? So we're going to go to sell item, and I'll show you a bit here. I'm comparing the difference between a dropshipping and normal sourcing eBay account here. All right. So let's find what we sold. Uh, let's go uh, order loaders. Okay, let's see. I'm going on to, right, let's pick up an item here. Okay. Uh, right, as you can see, uh, I'm going to pick up a particular item, right? Okay. Take a look at this, for example. All right, I sold a HP inkjet cartridge. All right, now I bought this for four pound. Okay, four pound. I only paid four pound. Now I sold it for nineteen pound ninety five. Okay, now you work out how much is the profit margin on this. Okay, so I paid four pound. It cost me two pound eighty to send it to the person, okay, 280, take away all my expenses, do you not think I made something like, I don't know, over excess of 10 pound profit on that? So is it worth for me to pursue that kind of 
line rather than drop shipping machine about i know you don't have to have your physical product you don't have to source product i know that but is it worth it think about it for a second All right All right there we are uh, look i can show you example after example air force one okay paid i've been paid over on this one 10 quid but i managed to get 22.95 look at the profit margin on that one All right here okay a decked um i deck cordless phone all right i paid seven quid i think got 19.95 back yeah so i'm showing example after example after example like four quid for converts okay and i got back 23.95 right so i can show you time after time now there's another example here Thomas the Tank Engine uh, set of books, okay, books collection, ultimate collection. Seven quid, ladies and gentlemen, I paid seven quid. Look how much it went for, 34.50. You work out the, uh, the profit margin on that one. So that's why the drop shipping pursue on a small eBay, go on Carbo sell, open up your account, buy this stuff and slowly build up a, uh, a business rather than don't get in your head uh, watching all this video people making tons of money on dropshipping they're not making tons of money on the dropshipping i'm sorry the only ones who are making money is those big big sellers with thousands and thousands and thousands of listings right if you have thousands and thousands and thousands of listings you are going to make yourselves whether you're making money is a different matter but you will make sales Let's put it this way. And you have to employ virtual assistants in Philippines or other countries like India to maintain your shops, okay? So that's the way to go. If things doesn't happen, don't give up. I, gi I gave up on dropshipping. I'm not giving up, but, and I can always come back if I wanted to because I I did it for just to learn dropshipping, and I have already learned it couple of months you know it doesn't take because i'm quite experienced in selling on ebay and everything so i i picked up really really easy it came to me like a snap how to do these things so don't fall into this trap of um listening all these gurus on tv on, on youtube trying to vlog you all this stuff about drop shipping and that kind of crap is absolutely excuse my language it's rubbish it's total rubbish okay what they're interested is showing you stuff and trying to flog you their course every damn tom dick and harry out there on damn youtube so i trying to flog you something and do not fall into this trap of uh, so-called millionaires they will they'll show you this video and they want to be they make you they they get the impression that they're making the money and they want to make you money if they're making money big time, what the what on earth do they want to tell you how they're making the damn money? They're going to keep it themselves, aren't they? And most of the time, you, you see these videos, they'll show you about big mansion, right? They may not damn own the mansion. They'll show you all those bloody cars. What they're going to do, cars got to do with making money, right? But they want to show you because they've done it. It's not true. You can go and hire Lamborghinis, Bentleys, the whole bloody lot. You can hire a mansion and do a couple of videos quickly a series of 10, 15 videos and you just keep rolling them on damn YouTube advertising and people think you've done it, right? It's not the damn case. How often they show you family oriented video, they got their children, the wife, the mother, the whole bloody lot in a big mansion and they're having a big party. Have you ever seen any bloody YouTube gurus are showing you their families, their children, the wife, mother, daughter, son, granddaughter everybody having a, a picnic inside the same damn thing no or they are swimming together on the same thing no what they show you it's all all boulder dash you know crap do not ever fall into this trap i've done it i i started years ago learning about website things you know i spent silly amount of money doing my I fell into the trap of buying all these crappy courses on 
on website things. I spent silly amount of money hosting my. I had over 200 domains name, couple of uh, 60, 70 websites and lost stupid amount of money watching these stupid videos. And, and so I've learned my lesson, so I do not do it anymore. So I'm telling you from my heart, you know, go with your heart, watch it carefully, don't fall into trap, don't buy all this rubbish. And, you know, I'm not saying they're all rubbish, but some of them are do give you a bit of it. Make sure you want to watch it. Just look for the golden nuggets. They do give away a bit of information. Look for it. But do not ever fall into it. I'm going to buy his course, 800 pounds, 900 pounds, 1,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds. It's going to be quick rich scheme. There's no such a thing as quick rich scheme. You have to put in the time. You have to put in the effort. You have to learn yourself to make it. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like, subscribe and comment button. Thank you so much.